right, guys. So here I am just cornrowing my hair. Now, I didn't want to spend too much time on my hair. I mean, come on, guys. I'm in Indonesia. I'm in Bali, okay? This should not even be on my agenda, but I didn't want to get braids because sometimes it does make my edges a little bit more um weak and then I have to focus on regrowing it back. So that's why I did go ahead and try to go the wig routes, but it kind of, you know, took a little bit more time, but that's okay. This entire install took about an hour. As you can see, I'm not doing super neat braids. I'm not doing them tiny. I kind of just need a nice flat foundation to last me for the next day. So this is my end result. Now with this unit, it was kind of a kinky curly, I'm going to call it that, and it came already bleached. So that was the benefit. I didn't have to bleach any knots and it was bleached to perfection from Wow African. Next, I found this little idea from Erica J. She has a YouTube channel as well on um, wigs and all the basin things. And I remember she did this. So I needed to pluck the hairline. And I'm like, okay, Simone, how are we going to do this the most efficient way? So I kind of just put the wig on my knee and I used it as, as a canvas head and kind of went ahead and plucked it. So if you ever are in need of plucking it or making your hairline a little bit more um, natural or more flawless, this is definitely a very easy technique and it's also comfortable as well to kind of pluck this way. So you know I have to get my, my hairline looking nice and fresh and just really, really, really customized. Next, I didn't use a headband. I went ahead and used the actual adjustable straps that came within the wig. And then it was time for me to cut the lace off. So it is a 360 lace wig. Um, I cut the lace off going all the way around. Here's the wig on my head. And then I went ahead and just um, cut the lace off afterwards. There is some hair left in the wig from what I plucked. So make sure you go ahead and pull all of that out. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace from around the air. And then I used some Gotta Be glue to really stick my wig down. I didn't show that part, guys, but that's what I did. Now I'm going to go ahead and just make my baby hairs look kind of flawless. I didn't do a lot of them. I kind of just hid the lace by just swooping a little bit of hair over the edge of the lace. <laughs> It was so weird for me to do my hair on vacation because I'm usually like, I like to have it done ahead of time. But guys, this vacation, I pretty much had no makeup on. My face was breaking out so bad and I have no clue why. I had like allergic reactions. So towards the end of my vacation, I kind of didn't have a wig on my head. But for the most part, this wig was perfect for vacation. It was able to get wet and stay wet. Now it does um swell. So, like, you can see the, how the hair in the front looks a little bit more, like, you know, drier and high. That's how the dry, um, how it looks when it's dry, okay? So, I am going to show you guys how to tame that towards the end of the video. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use a curling iron to flatten down my hair. I didn't use my hot comb. I didn't even bring it because... I don't got time to burn down things that are not mine. <laughs> so I did not bring my um, hot comb. And I just used my curling iron and it did the job so well. You can see how flat it's getting. You guys know I love wild African wigs. They always do the job for me. So this wig was perfect for me to take on vacation. I am going to go ahead and use some water to kind of just tame the hair. I love the curl on this wig. It's so, 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 so pretty once it's wet. And I do show you how it looks when it's dry. So this is it when it's wet. It has a nice natural curl to it. And then I'm going to use a towel and just scrunch it up. Okay, so now I'm going to take my hands and just run my fingers through the curls. I am using some ion oil and oil helps to tame the hair. So use that and rub it all over the hair. Do not use a lot of oil, guys. You don't want greasy jerry curls. Just do enough on your hand that will help the curls kind of stay in place and still look like it has a little bit of life. So this is practically my end result. And honestly, it came out good for it being an hour. I started this wig at like 6 a.m. And right now it's 7 a.m. You can see the sun is out. Um, very, very, very easy install from Wild African. 
this is a wig I feel like that already comes done for you. So all you really have to do is just kind of put it on your head and create a part for yourself. But this was the most easiest install. And I'm happy I brought this wig over other wigs to Bali with me. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>